This short guide covers the essential factors that underpin successful wet well sewage pumping station design to ensure the effectiveness of the system and the pump's performance within it. Effective inlet configuration plays a significant role. High inlet placement should be avoided. Cascading causes turbulence and air entrainment, which can reduce pump efficiency by as much as 10 to 15%. Ideally, the inlet should be at a low level. Where this is not possible, a high baffle or drop pipe should be used. The inlets should also be opposite and square onto the pumps, ideally at low level. This reduces the risk of bulk rotational flows. These flows, especially if going in the opposite direction to the impeller's rotation, can cause significant problems. The shape of the well is also important. The flat floor area within the well should be minimal. This can be achieved by sloping the base of the well by 45 to 60 degrees. This sloping moves the debris naturally towards the pumps. Creating a small residual sump area around the pump intake will allow maximum debris clearance. Care should be taken with any irregular well shaping or sloping to avoid creating surface or subsurface vorticity, which can lead to air entrainment. Good pump selection can really boost a system's performance. Knowing and utilising the pump's best efficiency point is crucial. Ideally, the highest utilisation duty point should occur between 80 and 105% of the pump's BEP. Anything outside this range can lead to increased operational and maintenance issues, increasing the cost of ownership for the end user. It's also important to consider the properties of the pumped media. High rag and fibre content, grit, fat, oil and grease should all be expected but more unusual hard objects, such as mobile phones and children's toys, have also been known to make an appearance. This is when a large free passage pump becomes even more important. Both the pump and the pumping station should be of a resilient design, capable of continuously removing floating, suspended and settled solids. The vertical discharge riser pipework should be sized to ensure a minimum flow velocity of 1.5 meters per second during the cleaning cycle as levels approach the bottom water level stop point. Pump level control also plays a key role. The longer or more frequently the pump operates at a low level, the cleaner the wet well becomes. Cleaner wet wells mean less pump blockages and higher efficiency. Using immersible motors also means that the pump's drawdown cycle can be maximised without risk of overheating. As a ready-made solution, Hydrostout offers PreroClean, a self-cleaning preformed contour basin system, complete with pipework, screw centrifugal pumps and level controls of choice. The specially contoured basin collects and feeds all floating, suspended and settled solids towards the pump. The fitted extended bell mouth increases the depth of pump inlet submergence, boosting the cleaning factor when used with the correct well shape and pump. The Hydrostyle's impeller's unique geometry and large free passage means that even large objects, debris and long strands can pass through without clogging. And during the low level cleaning cycle, it can remove virtually all of the difficult contaminants such as oils and fats from the wet well without emulsifying them. The key feature of the PreroClean system is the swirling flow cleaning action. The system's deliberate positive flow rotation means that virtually all debris is collected from the sump. Hydrostyle's PreroClean 
is the only system on the market to offer this unique gravity-driven swirl cleaning effect. By following a combination of good inlet configuration, well construction, pump selection and control, you'll be able to improve your designs, reduce blockages and improve efficiency. We hope that you have found this hydrostyle training module interesting and useful.